Welcome back my legends and today I'm going to explain the legacy of Thieves trailer and all the hidden details you missed plus a lot of lore even though this video is about a minute and 40 seconds long there's a lot of lore that a lot of people are going to miss you're going to hear from me exclusively how this connects to the overall world of Apex Legends so let's begin My world was shattered that day and my path was now a fog of unknowns. So 12 seconds in guys and this confirms a lot of things that you're not going to believe. So the first thing is Greta also known as Lobo. She's mourning the death of her parents more specifically right now her dad. Marcos Andrade was a thief with his wife Alonso Andrade and they run a Bonnie and Clyde operation but that's not the thing that's crazy. Are you guys ready? So here's the thing. This restaurant that they went is called um temi's restaurant it's a five-star restaurant that we now know pathfinder used to work here and he worked here as a cook because he was the one that gave the leviathan stew recipe to the restaurant and what happened later on is that a uh, food critic liked it so much that they gave the restaurant a five-star rating so the reason they went to this restaurant was because of how it was a high-end restaurant and it had really good reviews and they wanted to celebrate their last job so this is why they brought Lova, their only daughter to the restaurant to have a celebration and this confirms one thing the statue of the wolf i thought this was the thing that they stole but no that was completely wrong so this wolf statue was actually a gift that he bought for Lova for being his special little girl or something now i have no idea if the wolf statue does anything or if it's just for decoration and has a and it's like some kind of rare mineral but it was a gift that he bought for Lova, and that's what they were celebrating because Lovo, I guess we were, she was at the age where they might have started to introduce her into the thief business. How do we know this? Toast, for me and your family. Securing the future of our legacy. May one more for our daughter. Because in one of the loading screens, they talk about how they were wanting to go to this restaurant. But it also says here at the bottom that Marcos was talking about, oh, you want to go to this restaurant? Well, it's kind of expensive, but we have enough money from our last job. So this just tells me the thing that they stole, they already sold or got paid for it. And they had some money left over to go to this restaurant to celebrate and get his wife a new dress. So to me, this tells me that the wolf statue was not the thing they stole. Now, something even crazier, guys, that I never thought this was important to come up but Marcos Andrade lives in Talos or he was either born there but here's the thing that's crazy about that that means Marcos Andrade has some connection to Talos the place that we're playing in in World's Edge why is this important because remember back then the city was called officially New Dawn where the explosion happened and why is that important that means that there's a chance that in a way Revenant could have saved Loa's life Life. I know it sounds crazy, but I'll explain later on. No. The system tried to erase the tragedy, but some wounds are too deep to ever truly heal. Now, we get another bombshell here, guys, because Lova explains how they try to cover up what happened, in which makes sense, because Revenant obviously went rogue when he found out that he wasn't human. And the thing is, is that I believe is that the Andrade family never told anybody about their only daughter, Greta. And this is where it gets even crazier. And most people are not going to notice, but that family that you see, that is not her family, because Andrade had only one child and it was Lova. that's the family that adopted her and it gets even crazier if you look at behind the window you can see a satellite and many people who have been talking to in the apex lore community they have said that this could be relay station guys are you kidding me you're telling me that Lova's adopted family because we know she was an only child and it makes sense for her being adopted you're telling me that they so happen to live in solace next to king's canyon are you kidding me this means that that Lova could have met Mirage's family at some point and also Watson because they're from the oh my god this is getting crazy and here's the thing the fact that she was in an orphanage because obviously it makes sense because she just lost her parents that means that she could have also met Crypto and Mila because they were also orphans and who runs the orphanage Caustic's mom guys the connections here are crazy but let's move on because it gets even crazier so guys I had to edit this part when I was editing the video because 
because somebody in Apex lore community told me, um, thanks to Annoying Madman, he said that that is her foster parents, but she actually stole the bracelet from her stepmom. And we know this because when, if you look very closely, Lova looks at her bracelet, and then in the next scene, we can see her walking out with the bracelet. And even more interesting is that throughout the video is we see her, that she still has it. So this is implying that Lova might have ran away from home, which is crazy because imagine getting adopted stealing the bracelet her first steal and then keeping it for the rest of her life <laughs> uh lovas a savage so anyways i just had to add that part in i've always felt it in my blood i am a thief and a good one at that it was the only way i felt true to myself and those same feelings grew into opportunity and then we see Lova as an adult and of course it turns out that she's just like her parents <laughs> she just likes stealing stuff because it's in her blood i'm not sure if that's what she thinks or because in a way this is her way to honor her parents that passed away and i guess it's just like the thrill of doing it it's it's just something that comes instinctively because she actually learned to be a thief by herself which i guess involves some talent i guess her parents did teach her some basic things before they passed away so that's interesting I honed my skills and enhanced my methods. With success came wealth, power, and friendship. I was the best, and everyone knew it. Now here's the thing, she went from a low class thief to pretty much an expert thief to one of the best thieves in the Outlands. And here's why. To steal from Hammond Robotics, that is the ultimate thing you could do because Hammond, they have advanced technology. We know they're going to have like at least some security, but to be so good to steal their technology, that is at a whole new level of, oh my God, she's really good. And here's the thing, this is where I think, and I've been talking to, again, the Apex Lord community, we're thinking that that thing she stole from Hammond was actually her ability, the teleportation device that she fuses with the bracelet that her stepmom gave. Now, how did she get her power? Probably her blue haired ninja looking simp friend here, which I'm not making fun of him because I too want to be Lobo simp. I'm saying is that he looks like to be the brains of the operation. So in other words, if you guys ever play Sly Cooper, um, Cooper is the thief. Bentley is the brains of the operation. He's the one that does security um hacks into the cameras and murray will be the muscle but in this case cooper will be lova and bendley will be ninja right here so i'm guessing is that this blue hair guy is the one that fused the bracelet with the stolen technology from hammond to make her teleportation device i mean to me that makes sense because i don't think nobody else would do it and his name is jamie i'm pretty sure because in the teasers that we got you can see somebody's talking about jamie so i'm guessing this blue hair guy is jamie but he's still a simp but i wish i was lobo simp too but something was always missing until now there we are i'm off to bed wait i uh i found him now, as we can see, Lova is one of the best thieves in the Outlands. Now, I'm not sure if she has the ability to teleport before or after she robbed Hammond Robotics, but what we know is that she can do that. She, her power is to basically teleport from one area to another in a blink of an eye. Now, Lova was after she stole the necklace, which I'm guessing was pretty easy after you steal from Hammond Robotics. Now, after she stole the necklace, she told Jamie she was going to bed. Now, before she did, Jamie's said oh, yes dear but before you go i found him <laughs> i don't want to make fun of jamie but whoever designed him with ninja hair and kind of a typical you know those people i don't want to say <laughs> uh it's just funny maybe he'll be a cool character later on but right now he's kind of easy to make fun of but all jokes aside about jamie jamie does know about revenant and so that gives you an idea about their relationship because something like this must have been very personal for lova and she is one of the few people that know about it besides the syndicate so the fact that she told him about her past it gives you an idea that she really trusts jamie and i'm kind of jealous and again i guess this is why i make fun of him but you can kind of tell that she has a lot of trust in jamie what what are you talking about i found him So 
So from what I could tell, Jamie is a really good hacker, which makes me wonder if he actually knows crypto, not as in the, his real identity as Taejun Park, but as a hacker, because remember, crypto couldn't have survived on his own. He needed help. Maybe not trusting them, but as connections like, hey, you help me, I help you kind of way. So there's a chance Jamie might actually know crypto, and this could be all planned where Lova and crypto are eventually going to meet to help each other in their goals which eventually they're going to realize that hey revenant is not really my enemy the real people that we should be going after are the syndicate and hammond robotics and if you guys want to see more stuff about that stuff i've been talking about you can go through my playlist and yeah guys that will be it for the legacy of thieves a lot of connections here and i guess i'll see you all next time and remember jamie is a gigantic sin. Night so long